we were waiting to hitch until we got past this cop car and uh, it's just a mannequin inside. All right, we uh, hitched out a canab this afternoon to lower Buckskin Gulch. And we'll just be hiking in this gulch for about, I think 15 miles to the Arizona state line. And we're gonna try to camp right around there tonight. I've decided to add a new side character in an effort to boost ratings for the show. Hello. So Jack's here. He's uh, <laughs> going to, we added him to our Grand Canyon permit. So he'll be with us for the next like week and a half at least. Probably two. Probably two. Next 200 miles. That's true. <laughs> Pretty Jack, much the rest of the trail. <laughs> Jack, what was your uh, high school mascot? Uh, it was the Louisville Lions. Louisville Lions. Uh, where are you from without using the name? Uh, I'm from the city of Oaks. And uh, what's your favorite minor character from The Simpsons? Oh God, I don't know The Simpsons too well. Um... Doesn't know The Simpsons too well. There you have it. He's our new <laughs> nerd character on the show. <laughs> These slot canyons are just like a mile past where I finished the AZT in 2018 and I feel really dumb for not just continuing the hike uh, for another couple miles just to see these but I guess I get to see them now. These guys just finished the AZT. Right on, brother. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah, brother. He'll be safe.
feeling very nostalgic because I'm back on the AZT. Uh, this time going the other direction, but we'll be hiking the AZT southbound from the state line down to uh, a little past Jacobs Lake where we'll split off down the North Rim and take a different route into the Grand Canyon. Uh, last night was fun. We just bumped into some hikers that just finished their AZT hike and hung out with them for a couple hours. So congrats to 800 Smiles, Mayor, Rocket, and Wing It for finishing the AZT. It's interesting to be back on the Arizona Trail because, well, for one, the Arizona Trail was the first long backpacking trip I ever did in 2018. Um, but also, on that backpacking trip is when I heard about the Hey Duke for the first time and immediately fell in love with the idea of trying to do the Hey Duke someday. Then I remember on this section where they overlap seeing Hey Duke hikers and talking to them and now that's me. It's pretty fun. Although, if I'm being totally honest, the Hey Duke, at that time it was so romanticized in my head as this like epic adventure. And it is logistically a lot more difficult than any other trip I've ever done, but I really don't think physically it's a, uh, it is that big of an epic adventure. I think if you've done uh, any kind of desert hiking, you'd probably be just fine on the Hey Duke. There was a bad fire in this area a couple years ago, so there's a trail closure on the AZT. So now we're walking this uh, dirt road once again. Uh, the bad thing is that the the bad thing is that uh, the water source we were kind of counting on is on the closed section of trail that we didn't know about. So now we have a pretty long stretch to the next water and we're running low. But the solution to all things on trail, just hike faster so you get to the water sooner. There's probably some water in here. Last night we dug up our food cache uh, outside of Jacobs Lake. It was seven days of food each, which is the, our heaviest food carry we're gonna have to do for this whole trip. Uh, and that's because we have to walk the AZT south all the way to the Grand Canyon and then down the Nankaweep Trail in the canyon for a couple days and then back up onto the south rim for another resupply. Uh, we are walking the road into Jacobs Lake uh, at the little diner and inn right now so that we can throw away our trash and eat some hot breakfast and charge our electronics one last time before this seven day stretch. Um, it also means I probably won't film much the next couple of days until we get to the Grand Canyon because I want to conserve batteries. So just imagine we're walking through a uh, pine forest with really heavy packs for a couple days before we get to the Grand Canyon. 